Today we're going to highlight Edgewood Elementary. They will be offering ideas on how to easily make the TerraCycle program a success at your location. I'm Vicki Bernazzi. I'm here at Edgewood Elementary uh, to talk about TerraCycle and um, what we do. We're in the middle of our second year of uh, TerraCycle. I do all the collecting. I come once a week and collect all the pouches. I looked at the back of the box. I was buying them at the grocery store and on the back was where I saw it. And I contacted our PTO who thought it might be a good idea and then I contacted TerraCycle. It was very easy. Just keeping people aware and uh, keeping the kids aware, the support staff at the school remind them consistently to, um, to put their pouches in the appropriate container and uh, through our newsletter, our PTO newsletter, there's always a reminder to the parents, you know, if you have any, you know, collect them into the cafeteria um, and to remind your kids to do the same. And every week the, um, the PTO also sends out what we call e-blasts, uh, reminding people uh, what to do, what's going on, um, and through our website, the school's website, there's also a usual reminder to, to do the recycling. Vicki makes an excellent point. Through already established methods of communication at your school, you can easily promote the program. We collect our waste in our cafeteria. I come to the cafeteria, like I said, once a week. I collect the pouches in a bag, because sometimes it can be a little messy, but it's not bad. And I go home and I basically store them in my garage. The, uh, teachers and staff here are really helpful for me to also get boxes, so I don't even have to really look for a box. I just print out my label, tape it, and go to the UPS store. It's easy. As Vicki stated, the process to send the items into TerraCycle is pretty simple. We just ask that you remove as much remaining juice as possible before shipping, and then you can box up the items, print out your shipping label, and take the box to a UPS drop-off location. Thus far, it's only been cash for the PTO. Recently, the school has just purchased new gym equipment, uh, outside playground equipment. Start it in, in a one location. Otherwise, you may find yourself all over the place. I would suggest that you definitely try it. it it's, it's really not difficult. Having one central collection station makes it easy to tell people where they can put their items. Our school has been very successful in collecting the juice pouches um, and using TerraCycle by, one, the support staff here in the cafeteria, I think, is the constant reminder to the children to, to, to upcycle it. To um, the uh, overwhelming um, reception that we received from the administration here at the school, and uh, the teachers too. Parents collect them at home. I find like bags from home, and then the kids. They're just they're. I think it's ingrained in their system to recycle, upcycle. It's it's the right thing to do. I was just speaking with a friend who was out with her son, not at school, and he had a juice pouch, and he said, no, mommy, don't throw that away. I'll take it to school and put it in the juice pouch container. So, and this was a second grader. So he, you know, I think it's just very much part of their everyday routine. TerraCycle is a very um, easy organization to deal with. Um, whenever you call, you get a person, which is fantastic. And uh, their website is easy to uh, navigate, and it's very easy to join.